Welcome to Web Design Tutorials for HTML. This is lesson number four. And in this lesson, I'm going to talk about how to write a paragraph tag. And I'm also going to talk about the fact that for paragraph tags, it doesn't show the formatting in your web browser the way that you format it in your HTML document, unless you use the proper markup tags to resemble the formatting that you want. And I'll show you exactly what I mean as we progress through this tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is look for that web design file or HTML document that we created previously. And once you find that, if you remember from before, go ahead and right click on that and open that file. And you should have something that looks similar to what I have right here. So once you find that document and open it up, let's go ahead and get started. First thing that you want to do is click to the right of that first HTML element that we created for the header and that we, that would be heading one or h1 and go ahead and hit enter twice and create a space between that first HTML element h1 and the second HTML element h2 and we're going to write our first paragraph so write the p tag which stands for paragraph and we'll write this is our first web design paragraph and then we're going to close that p tag with the forward slash and then hit control s and we'll save that and then let's go ahead and find that file on our computer and when you find that file go ahead and double left click on it and that'll open it in your web browser and sorry about that noise i just got some kind of notification on my computer but let's continue moving forward when you write that into your html document you'll see that it says it here this is our first web design paragraph and it writes it right out through that heading one. So let's go ahead and go back to our HTML document. And this time I'm going to put a period on the end of that first sentence and then I'm going to hit the enter key to create a line break. And I'm going to write this is our second sentence in this paragraph, period. And then hit control S to save it. And I'm going to say something before we actually even go back to viewing this in our web browser. Even though we created a line break, it's not going to recognize that formatting because we didn't use a HTML markup tag to describe that line break. So let's go ahead and go back to our web browser and then hit the refresh key, which it should look something like this. If you're using Firefox, if you're using a different web browser, you may have to look elsewhere for that refresh key. But I'm going to go ahead and left click that and you'll see that that second sentence in that paragraph is on the same line. It didn't, you know, it didn't bring a line breakthrough and bring it to the next line. And that's because the HTML does not describe that line break. In other words, the web browser cannot read or understand that a line break should occur there or that sentence should be on the next line. So let's go ahead and go back to our HTML document. and. Let's, let me show you some other things as well. If you were to create another sentence after that second one and create a bunch of space between it and write this is our third sentence period and then hit control S and go back to our web browser and then refresh again you'll see that the same thing happens it's all on the same line and you'll also see that the space between that second and third sentence is only one space. It's not a bunch of spaces like what we had in our HTML document. It's only a one little space. And that's again because it doesn't recognize the formatting unless you use the proper markup tags to create that formatting. So I wanted you to see that so that there's no confusion about how paragraphs work. And I'll show you in another tutorial eventually how to add the markup tags to create the formatting that you need. But in general, remember that when you write a paragraph tag, it's not going to show the formatting that you do in your document. And I apologize if you hear some background noise. Unfortunately, something that I can't control. But anyway, let's continue. Uh, the next thing I want to show you is how to write another paragraph and show you what will happen when you do that. So let's go ahead and write another paragraph. And this time I'm going to write this is our second paragraph. Period. And then I'm going to close that with the P tag with the forward slash before it, and then hit control S 
and then let's go ahead and go back to our web browser and hit refresh and when I hit refresh you'll see that that next paragraph that we wrote where it says this is our second paragraph it it created a line break it put it on the next line and that's because when you write new paragraphs it automatically creates a line break in other words it's going to go on the next line and if we go back to our HTML document and we were to write another paragraph and we wrote this is our third paragraph period and then close it with the letter P tag hit control S go back to our document and hit refresh and you'll see that the third paragraph goes on the next line it creates another line break so when you're writing separate paragraphs it automatically creates the spacing that you need for your next paragraph so from that standpoint it will do the formatting when you create an additional paragraph so that's pretty much everything that I wanted to show you about paragraphs hopefully you understand fully how to deal with paragraphs now and if you do you know leave me a comment leave me a thumbs up share or embed this video and if you have a suggestion for future tutorials definitely let me know and I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials have a great day